If you're confused by how the heck the use imperative handle hook works, then you've clicked on the right video. In this video, I'm gonna go over two different examples of how this hook works. The first is gonna be a really simple example that's going to explain exactly what the hook does. And the second example is gonna be a real world example of where you would want to use this. Welcome back to Web Dev Simplified. My name is Kyle and my job is to simplify the web for you so you can start building your dream project sooner. And in order to understand use imperative handle, we need to really well understand how use ref works and how it works with custom components. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the use ref hook or any other hook out there, I have a completely free React hooks course. It covers every single hook you're ever gonna need to know. It's linked down in the description below, completely free, just go there and sign up for it. Now to dive into this use ref problem with functional components, we just have a really simple app component here. We are storing some state and that state is tied to this input component over here. We have an input ref, which is pointing to our custom input here. And then we're just, you know, updating the value and changing it when we change our input, really basic stuff. Then down here, we have a button, which is using this input ref to actually focus on the element itself. And this works perfectly fine if we're using a normal input. So if I change this custom input here to a normal input, and now you can see it's our normal input. If I click focus, you can see it focuses me inside of that input. That's working great. But when we change to our custom input and I click focus, it's not actually putting my focus inside of the input. When I type, it does nothing. So this is the problem we need to get around. And we don't even need use imperative handle for this, but we need to understand how this works to see how a use imperative handle can change this. So to see what's going on here, if I inspect, and I just go to our console quick, I'm gonna scroll up to the very top and you'll see we get this error that says, warning, function components cannot be given refs. Attempts to access this ref will fail. Did you mean to use react forward ref? And that pretty much tells us the problem. If we go to our custom input, we need to make sure that we're handling the ref properly by forwarding it. So in order to do that, what you need to do is just wrap your, you know, name of your component, whatever your component is, inside of react.forwardref. So we can import that. We can just say import react from react. And then down here, we can say react.forwardref. And now just by doing that alone, that'll get rid of the error, but we still don't have this working. If I click focus, it's not gonna focus my input. And that's because we need to tell React where our ref actually points. So to do that, our custom input here is now going to take a second property, which is a ref. And then we just need to tell React what that ref is pointing to. So we can on here just say ref is equal to ref. By doing that one single little bit of code, we're now just telling React, okay, we're forwarding the ref that gets passed into our custom input. We're taking that ref and we're forwarding it to this input right here. So now when I click focus, you can see it's focusing my input up here. This is working great. And this is perfectly fine if all you need to do is pass one ref directly to a single element inside of a component. But what if you actually wanna completely change how the ref works? You wanna have your own custom ref that's not related to a component, but is actually just a custom ref entirely. That is where use imperative handle comes in. We're gonna import that hook right here by saying, whoops, use imperative handle. And this hook is really simple. It takes three different properties. What we can do is we can just call use imperative handle. The first property is our ref. So we're saying, hey, this is the ref that we want to completely override. And we now no longer need to pass that to our input at all. And then what we need to do inside of here is pass it a function. And this function is going to return a single value. And that return value is our new value for our ref. So for example, what I could do inside of here is just pass alert value. Or I'll just say alert high. And what this is going to do, it's just a function that is just going to alert the text high. So this is what I am returning. Let me make sure I do this correctly. There we go. So now we just have a function called alert high, which is just alerting the text high. Super straightforward. So now my ref actually is this object right here. Now the third parameter that we can pass is an array of dependencies. If you pass nothing, it's going to refresh this value every render. Empty array is going to refresh it once. And then we could also say like props.value, for example, to refresh this every time our value changes. This is something that you could do. For example, if you alert the value inside of here, you may want to only refresh it when the value changes. So that works just like use effect, for example. We're just gonna go back though to where this said high. We're gonna use an empty array because it's never changing. So now when we save, our ref now only has this one value of alert high. So inside of here, let's just change this to say alert high. So now when I click this focus button, you can see it calls that function and it's giving us that alert high. So it's saying high right there. Now this right here is a bit of a contrived example because honestly, if you wanted to have a ref pointing to your input, which is most likely what you want, you would just do that with forward ref. But when you wanna change your ref to be something entirely different, that is what use imperative handle is for. And in the next example we're gonna look at, I'm gonna show you a component that actually really takes advantage of use imperative handle. 
Now in this example, I essentially have an open button that's going to open a modal, and then I have three buttons for focusing different things inside that modal. So when I click open, you can see it opens our modal down here, which has a yes button, which is our confirm, a deny button, which says no, and then we have a close button, which is this X up here. And when I click on these buttons, focus close, focus confirm, and focus deny, I wanna focus each individual element inside of our modal. That may sound really easy to do, but it's difficult to do because these focus buttons are in my app component, while all of the buttons I want to focus are inside my confirmation modal component. So they're kind of disconnected from one another, and accessing them is very difficult to do. You may think, okay, we're just going to do this with props. We're going to pass like a focus close prop, and we'll have like a focus, you know, confirm prop or whatever, deny, and you could pass all those in, but doing that doesn't really make sense because then you need to handle all the focus state inside React, which is kind of a pain to do since the browser does it all for you automatically. This is just not a good solution. Instead, what you want to do is you want to expose a new ref, and this new ref is going to have a function for focusing these three different buttons, and that's all it's going to do. So now you're going to have one ref, which references all three of the buttons you care about. This is probably one of the more common use cases you're going to have for when you need to do a custom ref with use imperative handle, when you need to access multiple elements inside of a custom component outside of that component where props just don't make sense. So already so far I'm passing down our ref which is called modal ref and in here I'm already doing all of the react forward ref stuff that we need to do and all we're going to do is handle what would happen with the use imperative handle. So I'm going to come in here with our use imperative handle hook. So we're going to say use imperative handle, make sure it's imported up here. And we're also going to need the use ref handle because we need to create references to these different buttons that we want to focus. So we're going to have a ref here, which is our close ref. And we're going to do the same thing down here for our confirm and our deny. So we're going to say confirm and down here, we're going to say deny. And then I'm going to create those refs up here. So we're going to say const close ref equals use ref. I'm just going to copy that down for deny and confirm. So now I have access to all three of our different buttons inside these refs, and in our use imperative handle, I can pass the ref for my custom component, this confirmation modal here. I can pass it our function, which is going to return to us an object that has three functions on it. We're gonna have a focus close button, and then we're gonna have the exact same function essentially for the confirm and the deny button. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our close ref, we're gonna get the current value, and we're gonna call the focus function. So I'm just gonna copy this down for our deny, and I'm gonna do it for our confirm. And in here, I want this to be deny. I want this to be confirm. So there we go, I've created a new reference, and this new reference only has three functions. We have a focus for close, deny, and confirm. Now I can use those three functions outside of this confirmation modal. So if I save this, nothing's changed, which is good. Now if I go over to our app here, on focus close, I can just say on click, what I want to do is I want to take my modal ref, I want to get the current value, and I want to call that focus close button function, and I'll call it. And we're going to see if this works. And we'll just do just like that. So now if I click focus close, you can see it focused that close button on our screen. Let's do the same thing with our other buttons as well. We're going to come in here, we're going to have our deny, and this is going to be for confirm. And now when I click focus confirm, you can see it highlighted that yes button, same thing with deny, and same thing with close. So by doing this, I can essentially change how my ref works. I'm saying, you know what? These are the things that I want the ref to do. The ref has functions for doing these three separate things because that's all I care about. They don't make sense to do with props, so instead I'm going to be using this use imperative handle, ref combination to handle this, and then all I did is just put references for those different elements inside my HTML, and I could use those up in this use imperative handle. Also, what I could do inside here is put the empty brackets in because, again, this doesn't depend on values changing. It's still going to work just fine. Now, one important thing to take away from this video is that use imperative handle is something you should not use very often at all. There are only very specific use cases where you should use it. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you're definitely going to want to check out my completely free React Hooks course. It has no ads or anything like that. It's going to be linked down in the description below. It's completely free and covers every single React hook you need to know. With that said, thank you very much for watching and have a good day.